Hello everyone, this is Angie from the Honeysuckle Haven where I hope to inspire you with practical tips, thoughtful tidbits, and timeless treasures. Happy, what is today, Monday, and welcome to Craft Round the Clock. So if you are watching live, if you see a red live button up in the corner, let me know you're out there, say hi so I can say hello to you. If you are watching on replay, put hashtag replay replay and let me know that too. So I'll get some comments going here so I can see. I see some people hopping on. Hi Jill. Let's see if I can get this working here. So if you do not have not been on craft around the clock you'll have to go check it out. Type in craft round the clock and there are a lot of amazing crafters out there. Lots of neat stuff that I've been seeing. So you'll have to go check that page out if you haven't seen it. Hi Sandy and Joyce, and I saw all the comments are rolling in. Somebody from Debbie from Kentucky, thanks for joining, and Kelly. All right, so I get 30 minutes for my craft around the clock time slot, so we're gonna get started. I am not done a Christmas in July. I'm not big on doing Christmas in July, but I thought I, I had this really cute idea. So, and um, the idea is something that you can probably leave out all year too. So it won't be just for Christmas. I'm not gonna make it too Christmassy. We are gonna try to make an angel. Now I did a smaller version of this before, but we're gonna do a bigger version of this angel using, this is a table leg. You can use an old table leg that you have. Uh, this I got at Lowe's in their wood lumber section. They have um, like tabletops. You can create your own little table. Um, Got it at Lowe's. You could use an old spindle. You don't have to use a table leg. So you have lots of options. Hi, Aunt Terry. Hi, Sherry. And Tracy's on there. Hi, Tracy. Okay, so I went ahead, because for time purposes, I went ahead and painted my table leg with Waverly chalk paint, and I used the plaster color. So it's like an off-whiter cream. I painted a coat of that on there. Actually, took two coats. And then I took, because I don't like anything, it, looking really solid. I like it to look distressed and aged. I took my sanding sponge and I just sanded all the corners and sanded it all off all the way around to kind of make it look distressed. Let me get up there so you can see it. Just like that. Okay, so that's our table leg. We're going to start with that. Tammy, thank you for sprinkling. Forgot to tell you, or you received your t-shirt. Oh, good. Good. All right, so then in the Lowe's um, lumber section, also their wood section, they had these little bun feet that look like this. And they have that, like a screw on the end of it there. We are just gonna put that right in the bottom of the table leg. So the table leg really should go like this. But I'm flipping it upside down. And I'm gonna screw that bun foot in there. And I'm gonna try to get to as many comments as I can because I have a lot to do here to try to make this angel. Like I said, so for Christmas in July, you, we're making an angel, but I'm not gonna make it too Christmassy. Let's see if I can get it down in there. I had to put a little hot glue in there. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jill. Let's see if I can get it down in there a little further. I had it screwed on all the way. I might have to drill a little bit out. Here we go. I drilled it earlier and then I had to take it apart. So we'll just, oh, there it goes. That's why. Because I put hot glue on the end of that. Let's see if we can get it in there now. It's gonna give me fits. We'll just work with it because I can always put a little jute rope around it. Could you PM me your address? I found some goodies today. Aw, you want to share them with me? Well, thank you. I sure will. Thank you, Sherry. I don't know why it's being a booger. Not wanting to go in. Let's get out our pliers. I only get 30 minutes here. And I had it in there so nice earlier. We're just going to take our pliers. I'm going to put it, screw it down in there a little tighter. This really was easier earlier. <laughs> I just needed to go down just a little smidge. I'm just 
was taking some pliers. Let's see if that's enough. And then we might put a little hot glue there. Pretty good. I think that's close enough for now. Okay, good enough. Let's put some hot glue to make sure that stays on there good. Put a little in the hole of the bun foot. I'm just using a high temp Gorilla hot glue. Hi Becky. Thank you for sprinkling Teresa. Okay, so there. Now we have our head that's on the table leg, just like that. And we're gonna set that aside for a minute. We're gonna work on the wings. And so what I did for the wings was, I went ahead and drew out a wing. See how I cut one out already? Of cardboard. So I just drew one out, cut it out, and then I traced it again for my second one. So they'll be exactly the same size. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. First time watching from Indiana. Thanks for joining, Donna. So you guys have to tell me, have you been making Christmas in July stuff? I saw lots of crafters were doing it this morning. Saw some cute things. Okay, so we're just gonna cut that out. And what I did for my wings I just looked up on Pinterest, angel wings, and then just kind of eyeballed it, looked at a picture of some angel wings, and then just drew it on the cardboard. Usually if I have a picture to look at, I can usually draw it, and wings aren't too hard. Okay, so there we have our other angel wing. Make sure I'm keeping track of my time. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some spray adhesive and burlap. And we're going to put some burlap on our wing. So I'm going to grab, I have some scrap paper here. Hello from Columbus, Texas. Thank you for joining, Kathy. Okay, and let's make sure my wing, because I have one ready, make sure I have it the right way. So I'm just using some Super 77 spray adhesive. I got it, Ace Hardware. And I like to put it over some scrap paper so I don't get it on everything. I'm just going to spray a generous amount on my wing. Just like that. And it takes a few minutes for it to set up, so you have a little time to work with it. We're going to fold that over so all the sticky stuff is underneath. And then take my burlap and just place it right on top kind of spread it out. Hi Shauna and Rose, first timer watching also from California. Thank you for joining. So we're making an angel today. I'm not going to make it too Christmassy so I can maybe leave it out all year if I want to. All right, so burlap is on there. So now I'm just going to take my scissors and trim all the excess off. Cut it all the way around and it doesn't have to be really perfect because I like when the burlap kind of frays. I'll show you. I'm gonna intentionally fray it a little bit so you don't have to worry about being too perfect. Okay, let's get rid of all that. So here's our wing and then you can just kind of pull these little threads out and it kind of makes it all frayed looking, which I kind of like since it's a wing. Let's pull. Maybe not both of those. Let's trim that off. Pull a couple out down here. You can pull up here a couple little threads. Make it look kind of frayed on the edge, just like that. Okay, so we have a wing. We're gonna add something else to it really quick. Hi, Shauna from Canada. Hilda from Maryland, thanks for joining, ladies. All right, so now I have a doily, an old doily. And 
kind of, her head's a little bit stained looking, which I don't mind because I want it to look old and didn't want it to be bright and crisp. So I'm going to lay this doily on here and we're going to add a little bit of it to you look at my other wing to see where I had it placed. They don't have to be exactly the same, but I want them to look similar. So let's go up in this corner here. How about like that? That looks pretty good. So I'm going to lay the doily over it, and then I'm just going to start hot gluing, kind of tacking it down in some spots. Put a little hot glue on the back and just press it down and then just work my way down the wing just like that and then keep on working my way down just like that can you see that oh my dad's out there hi dad have that side tacked down, I'm going to flip it over just like that. And I'm going to cut off all this excess. But I'm going to leave about a half an inch to an inch. I'm going to cut out from the wing about half an inch to an inch, just like that. Because I'm going to wrap this part around the wing. So you don't have to worry about cutting. Very neat on the sides here. Okay, and we'll save this for later for something else. Now, have it like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish tacking the front down before I wrap it around the back. So I'm just gonna put a little hot glue here and there. And get it all tacked down pretty good. Hi, Susan. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for joining, ladies. Get all this hot glue off of me. Okay, so now that I have it tacked down on the front, let's flip it back over. And we're just going to put some glue all the way around the sides here. I'm just going to fold it over. And kind of pull it kind of snug. Hi, Vicki. Good afternoon to you too. I'm on a little early today because I'm on Craft Around the Clock. So if you have not checked out Craft Around the Clock, you need to go check it out. There's a lot of amazing crafters out there. It's a good group. Okay, so there's my wing. And then here's my other one from earlier that I made ahead of time. Aren't those pretty with the burlap and the doily, the lace? I love it. Okay, so let's put our wings on first. So I think what I'm gonna do is I was trying to figure out the best way to attach these because it is not a flat surface to glue to. So first thing I wanna do is make a hole. Actually, you know what? We're gonna glue them together first. I think I'm gonna glue them together right at the top like that. Let's find the front. Let's make sure I get them the right angle, about like that. Okay, so we're going to hot glue. My angel was teetering. Hot glue them together, right at the top first, just like that. Hi, Brenda. Okay. So now I poked a hole on this side. I'm gonna poke a hole on the other side too. I have some jute rope here. I figured I could glue it and tie it on. That way they, the wings are not gonna fall off. So before I poke a hole in this, let's see here. Got that one. Let's put a little glue on the end of our jute rope. That way when I try to put it through the hole, it's a little easier. Hi, Chris. Thanks for joining. Okay, just like that. Let's see what my time is here. I think I'm good. Oh yeah, I'm good. 
Okay, now we're gonna poke a hole on this side. I'm just using my X-Acto knife here. Let's go right there. I'm kind of making a hole a little bit so I can see all the way through. And then I'm gonna take a pencil, just a mechanical pencil and make the hole nice and round and a little bigger. Just like that. Can you see the hole on the back there? And then put my jute rope through there. Okay, make sure that worked. So now let's find the front of my angel. I'm gonna put a, there's this crease right here. I think I'm gonna run that jute rope right through there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in that crease just to hold it in place and then slide this right over top and pull that through. And then we'll put some glue on the back too, just like that. And then we'll tie it on. Okay, before I tie it, let's put some glue back there. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the wood. And then put the wings back up there. Just like that. Now I'll tie it on the back in a knot. Hi, Kelly. So glad I caught you live. Thank you for joining. I'm glad you did too. We are making a cute rustic angel. It can be used for Christmas or you can, I'm not making it too Christmassy, so you can leave it out all year if you want. Okay, I do not think those are going anywhere. I think that worked. Here's what I have on the back. We're gonna cut that off, the excess here, just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna do the halo. So what I used for the halo was an old hoop earring that I had, and I just stuck a barbecue skewer right through the hole at the top of the earring here, just like that, and put a little glue on it. Can you see that? So we're gonna use that for the halo. We'll put that on now. So I'm gonna glue the barbecue skewer, another, not a flat surface, on there like that. And then I have a piece of craft paper that I'm gonna hot glue right over top of it, just like that to hold it down. Now we're gonna put hair on this angel so it'll cover that up. Okay, let's lay her down to do this part. See if I can balance her, keep her from rolling around. Okay. Put a pretty generous amount of glue there. And then put that there. And I'm going to go ahead and put some glue right across the back of her head and put my craft paper on there just to hold it. Nice and snug. Make sure her halo's not twisted. Just like that. Cute. It worked. Sometimes you don't know. I get these ideas in my head and think they're going to work. <laughs> Hi, Angie, watching and sprinkled. Love this idea. Thanks, Lenore. Okay. Hey, hey, first time watching from Louisiana. Thanks for joining. I am having a good day, yes. There we go, there's the halo. Now for the hair, I had some jute rope that had wire in it from Dollar Tree. It says jute twist tie and I got it at the Dollar Tree. So what I did was I cut a bunch of pieces of this. So I have one that I already cut to length here. I tried to cut them kind of close to the same length. Let's see, I got 11 minutes. I can do it. <laughs> I've been trying to do my crafts in 30 minutes or less. Okay, and then I think that one should be close. All right. So we have our jute rope. So what I did was I took a pencil and it has wire in it so you can just wrap 
that jute rope around the pencil and we're going to make some curly cues for her hair. So I'm just going to twist it around the pencil on both sides. I just finished two of these. I love her. Aw, thanks Carol. So have you seen some similar to this? I thought this was my idea. <laughs> so I'm, you, nothing is new. Uh, you'll, be, you'll always see something kind of similar. I made one smaller version with little spindles last Christmas. Okay, so I'm just twisting those around the pencil. This stuff works so nice for hair, so cute. Okay, one more. There we go. And then last side. All right, just like that. Now I made a bunch up earlier, just already ready. And then I was thinking to make it look like a part on the top, I'm going to put a piece right across the top. And it'll kind of hold them all together, too. So I had a small piece just like that. So it kind of looks like there's a part. Okay. And then what I did is I had some, I already made up for earlier, earlier I made them up. This is gonna go on the back of her head and I glued them to a little popsicle stick. I cut a piece of a popsicle stick off so that way it's easier to glue it right on the head like that. And then I made some for her bangs. Glue little tiny pieces to a popsicle stick, just like that. So we're gonna put those two pieces on first. Then we'll put this on. So let's get this one on. Then I'm gonna part her hair so I can get it around her halo and her wings, just like that. So we're gonna glue that on. And with that popsicle stick there, look at that, it's so much easier than trying to glue all those individual strands on her head. And then her head's kind of flat since it's a bun foot, so we're gonna kind of poop her hair up since it has wire in it. And then we'll do the same for the bangs. Just put those on there just like that. Look how cute she's looking already, too cute. Very creative and adorable, thanks. I thought she was gonna be cute. I was hoping anyways. Okay, so now we have this part that we are gonna just put a bunch of glue on the top of her head. Work around her halo here. Get all these glue strings. And then squeeze her hair right on top. And then that's gonna cover up those popsicles, sticks too, that I used. And then you can shape her hair because it has the wire however you want. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. <laughs> Too cute. Look how cute she is. Aw, I love it. Even better than I pictured. We need to cover up her, this craft paper on the back of her head here. Squeeze those together a little bit. Too cute. Angie, she is so cute. As you say, I love it, aw. Okay, thank you. I have seven minutes. We're gonna add a little something to the front. So I had a couple things to embellish with. These I got at Dollar Tree. You can get them in rolls. Let me see if I have one here. They come like in this, in a pack. They have them in different seasons. They have fall colors in the fall. They have like pastel colors during, um, in the spring. So what I did was I just took a gold one and a white one and I formed them in a circle. 
and I'm making a little wreath like that. So I started with, I left two little ends sticking up so that I could wrap them around my wreath when I was done. So I kept wrapping and wrapping and making a circle, forming it all the way around. And then you take those and just wrap it around to hold it together, just like that. And it makes a cute little wreath. So I made one ahead of time already. So we're gonna glue that right to the front. Let's see where I want it. Up a little higher or down a little lower? I think up a little higher. Let's see with the flower. Actually down a little lower because we're gonna put a little solo wood flower on there too. Now this one came from Dollar Tree. I uh, order them from Sola wood flowers, but I did find some at Dollar Tree. I was so excited. Let's find the best spot here. We're gonna put a little hot glue on the wreath and right on the front of her. And then I think I got enough glue there, it's dripping. I'm gonna go ahead and put my flower on there too. She is too cute. What do you guys think? I think she's adorable. Let's get that to dry here so I can move my hand. And I didn't make it too Christmassy, so you could leave this out all year if you wanted to. You could make it more Christmassy if you wanted. And I think this uh, wired jute rope just works great for hair. Okay. There it is. What do you guys think? Too cute. Table leg, cardboard, burlap, and a doily for the wings. The wire jute rope for her hair. A hoop earring for her halo. A bun foot for her head. And then just whatever embellishments. I love it. <laughs> this is lovely. So pretty. Love her. All right, well, thanks for joining me, guys. I hope that inspires you to think outside the box and uh, maybe make an angel of your own. All right, guys, do go do something you enjoy the rest of the evening, and thank you for joining, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good night. Bye.